Hi students, welcome to third standard science class video session, lesson 3 birds. Last session we learnt about eating habits and beaks of food. In today's session we are going to learn about movement of birds and feet and claws of birds. Different birds move in different ways such as flying, walking, running or swimming. So what is the meaning claws? Claws means a sharp curved nail on the toe of an animal. Different birds have different type of feet according to the place where they live. Now let us go into the session. Today we are going to learn about movement of birds, feet and claws of birds. First let us learn movement of birds. Birds can hop on land, swim in water and fly in air. The four limbs of birds modified in the form of wings that help them to fly. Crow, sparrow, eagle, parrot etc. are common birds that fly in the sky. Now let us learn what are the three adaptation of birds for flying. Flying birds have large chest muscles that move the wings. Birds have feathers that help them fly. The long flight feathers on the wings and tails help birds balance and stir. In addition, birds have a system of air sacs in their body that connect to the lungs. Now let us learn what are the two movements of birds. Birds can fly in two different ways. The first one is gliding and flapping. If a bird is gliding, it will have its wings in the extended position just like an aeroplane. The lift it achieves will be depend upon its forward motion and its airfoil. Children, do you know why do birds fly in a triangle? First, it conserve their energy. Each bird fly slightly above the bird in front of him, resulting in a reduction of wind resistance. The bird take turns being in the front, falling back when they get tired. In this way, geese can be fly for a long time before they must stop for rest. Do you know children, which bird can fly backward but cannot walk? The only bird that can fly backwards for any length of time are hummingbirds. The majority of birds are unable to fly backward because of the structure of their wings. Birds such as pigeon, sparrow and crow can fly only at medium heights while birds such as eagle and vulture can fly very high as they have strong muscles and feathers. Some birds such as ostrich and emu cannot fly as their body is very heavy but they can run fast as they have strong legs. Birds such as duck, swan and penguin are good swimmers and they have webbed feet to swim. Next, we are going to learn about feet and claws of birds. Birds have different types of feet depending upon the places where they live. Birds that sit on the branches of trees such as crow and sparrow have feet that help them to hold the branches tightly. Their feet have four toes 
in some birds like sparrow three toes or in front and one at the back a woodpecker's foot has four claws two facing forward and two facing backward next let us learn about the webbed feet birds that swim in water have webbed feet the three front toes are joined by the skin ducks and swan have this kind of feet next we are going to learn about eagle's claws birds of prey like eagle and owl have strong feet and hooked claws so that they can hold the animals on which they feed tightly do you know children birds of prey are also called predatory birds or raptors for example vulture kite eagle and hawk now let us know, know about the what are the main uses of feet and claws to a bird birds use their feet and claws in walking climbing holding food swimming and preaching birds use their claws for self defense also the shape of their feet and claws depend on their food habit claws have long curved nails children finally we learn how the birds it will fly easily in the sky birds have light weight bone because they have hollow which means empty inside make the body of the bird light weight which help them to fly easily at the same time they have strong and powerful muscles control the movement of the body they have the breast muscle which is the largest muscle in the uh, bird's body which is actually control the wings then the skin muscles control the feathers muscles in the tail help the bird to move along or change its direction while flying all these three muscle help the bird to fly easily in the sky i hope you all got clear idea about movement of birds and feet and claws of birds thank you students have a nice day